balance out because I'm working on my energy. Cleaning up, I'm taking care of I myself and me. Drinking coffee, take a sip, they say I'm sparkling. Manifest, I write it down, you know it's happening. Hi everyone, my name is Mridul and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 DIYs under rupees 100. So if you've been following me for a while, you might have seen a part one of this video already. Um, and finally, after two plus years, I'm making a part two. I have tried making this video quite a few times, but I never really felt satisfied with the DIYs that I made. But finally, I do feel like the 10 DIYs that I've curated for today's video, I like them. They turned out really good. They're very easy to recreate as well so i hope you guys are excited and if you do happen to recreate any of these do tag me on instagram or actually that's the only place you can tag me but i would love to see your recreations and having said that let's just get started with today's video before we get started, I just want to talk to you guys about the sale that we're having, the birthday week sale on SimbaLifestyle.com. So if you place an order above 1,100 rupees, you will get one notebook free, which is by the way, uh, worth 200 rupees. Then if you place an order above 2,200 rupees, you'll get two notebooks free. And if you place an order above 3,300 rupees, you will get three notebooks free. Now that's not it. If you place an order above 5,000 rupees, you will get not only three notebooks free, but also our five year journal. So this is valid on the entire website. So you can add whatever you want in your cart and I'll leave the link in the description box below. So definitely check it out. So clay has been a medium that has been used quite a lot recently, whether it's to make clay rings or coasters. I personally, came across this really cool abstract almost looking um, ways and I really really wanted to recreate it so I went to my local uh, stationery store and I found a clay um, I think by the brand called Fevicryl and it comes only for 20 rupees so very very easily available number one and also very very affordable so this is how I created this um, ways so this is what the Fevicryl's molded clay looks like this comes with a resin base and a hardener what you need to do is combine the two clays together and and by the end of it, you should have a clay that is light gray in color. That's when you know you're done. This is a little bit hard. So take your time, blend it together, combine it really, really well. Now talking about the container. So this is the glass container that I had at home, but you can literally use anything that you have. And uh, I'm just using a marker, kind of tracing a face on top of it. This is gonna act as a guide for my clay. I'm gonna lay the clay on top of this. Now coming back to the clay, I'm taking the clay and making like really thin earthworm looking pieces. I'm not making them super, super thin also because then they'll break. Obviously this depends on the design that you're going for, for the design that I had in mind I made these earthworm looking things and then using some hot glue gun I'm just gonna glue the clay on top of this you don't need a hot glue gun specifically you can use fevicol also I have a hot glue gun for this I use kar liya. Uh, trace kar rahi hot glue gun se ek line and then I'm gonna place the clay on top of it I'm gonna continue doing this for the rest of the ways now you just let this sit for maybe an hour and then you can go in with your paint I just use some regular acrylic paint in white and painted the whole thing if you want a more even finish you can also use spray paint that will make it look very like polished and put together and this is what the vase looks like i personally really really like it Okay, so DIY number two is also a vase of sorts and uh, I actually tried to recreate it in a different way. So I saw this image on Pinterest and in my mind it was that I can use marbles, which is the goatee, marbles, I could use that to recreate this sort of DIY ways. I used three different types of glues, but nothing was able to hold the marble and my container together. So I decided to get a little bit creative and I used yet again clay. So I followed the same procedure of mixing the resin base and the hardener together and then I started making these flat circles almost uh, because I did want that 3D look on top of my vase. So um, this is what I came up with by the end of it. 
एंड देन सिंपली टेकिंग अ कंटेनर एनी कंटेनर कैन डू कोई प्लास्टिक का कंटेनर भी पड़ा है ना घर पे दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज एंड अगेन यूजिंग एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ ग्लू मीडियम यू कैन यूज फेविकॉल ऑल्सो फॉर दिस और फेविक्विक भी यूज कर सकते हैं एंड आई एम जस्ट टिकिंग दीज रैंडमली ऑन माई कंटेनर अगेन सेम थिंग उसके बाद इसको पेंट कर लो मैंने फिर से वाइट एक्रेलिक पेंट यूज कर लिया इसके लिए The next DIY you can actually see in the background. It's this piece of art almost. So I wanted to create like a backdrop. As you can see, this is kind of like my nude backdrop, and I wanted to create some pieces of art, like photo frames almost, for me to be able to display it in the background like this one. So I um, again wanted to make like a 3D abstract sort of a painting. So this is how I made it. It's very very easy. Literally, it took me 10 minutes. The first thing that you're gonna need for this DIY is obviously a canvas. If you want to make this budget. friendly you can go for the small mini canvases that you get i think those retail for like 50 60 rupees i just had this huge one lying around at home so that's what i'm using right now now what you're going to do is you're going to grab a pencil and draw the design that you have in mind i personally went for like a random geometric design i was literally just free handing this but you can look up some designs on pinterest and make it look a little bit more polished if that's the look that you're going for mujhe personally aise random lines chahiye thi to maine wo kar liya and then um, i'm using hot glue gun for that 3d look now if you don't have a hot glue gun don't worry i have an alternative it's this fabric base that i found which you can use instead of the hot glue gun and it's very very inexpensive as well so what you're going to do is you're going to trace on top of these lines and let it dry for again i would say an hour and then you can go in and paint this now again i was going for like a nude sort of a look to maine nude acrylic color use kar liya chhota sa bottle kafi ho gaya tha mujhe and just painted the whole thing and yeah <laughs> very very simple but looks like modern art Now I've been making wall hangings macrame wall hangings for years at this point but I've never really shared with you guys how I do it it's very very straightforward you need only one like ingredient only one thing which is wool and wool is very easily available it's very very affordable as well so this is how I make my macrame this DIY you're going to need two things the first one being some wool I went with orange color ka wool because that was the theme I was going for you can pick any color that you want the second thing is going to be a stick um i found this in my mom's garden and i painted it white just to make it a little bit more aesthetic then what we're going to do is we're going to decide the length of our macrame so i went with a 50 cm long macrame so what you're going to do is you're going to double the length that you have in mind so since i wanted 50 cm i'm going to go for 100 cm long threads of wool so i started cutting a bunch of these 100 cm long threads and also we're going to make clusters of these so ek cluster mein hoga pakdo na approximately 15 se 17 a uh, strings of 100 cm wool as you can see and then i'm just going to start looping it like so to aise maine ch clusters bana liye as you can see and then on top of that i'm going to place my stick just follow along it's very very simple i know it looks a little bit complicated but is tarike se loop karke इसमें से पास करना है काइंड ऑफ लाइक अ गार्ट लाइक अ नॉट यू टू टाई अ नॉट मुझे भी स्टार्टिंग में थोड़ा सा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लगता था बट यू विल फिगर इट आउट ट्रस्ट मी तो एक बार वो हो गया आई एम जस्ट कोमिंग आउट द हेयर द वुल एंड देन आई एम गोन टेक सम टेप एंड जस्ट टेप डाउन द बॉटम पार्ट ऑफ इट नाउ यू कैन लीव इट एज इट इज बट आई वॉन्टेड काइंड ऑफ लाइक अ इन्वर्टेड ट्राइंगल एट द बॉटम तो इस तरीके से मैंने टेप कर दिया एंड देन यूजिंग अ शार्प सीजर यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कट अलॉन्ग द टेप टू गेट लाइक अ नाइस शार्प एज we're almost done the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add like a string at the top for you to be able to hang this macrame so grab a string of wool and just tie it on either sides of the rod 
So the next DIY has to be one of my favorite DIYs. For this, you're literally going to need two things. The first one being a cardboard box. It can be any box. Um, it can be something as simple as an Amazon box that comes in or uh, you can use your mask. You can use any sort of box. And the second thing that you need is Jutka Rassi. I think that's what it's called. And Sutli is very inexpensive. I got, I think, a set of six for... 65 70 rupees so less than like 10 12 rupees per sutli and using this rope you can transform literally any box in your house i went ham i think i did like four or five boxes in my house and i actually end up using them and they look also very very cute so this is the box that I'm going to be using. As you can see, it has a bunch of oil stains and it's not in its best condition, but we're going to upcycle it. So um, instead of sticking single, single rope on it, because that would take forever, what I did was I measured the entire circumference of the box and I cut, um, like I would say like 10 to 15 clusters of ropes. So this took me, I would say like 20 minutes to do the whole thing if I were to sit there and stick one single rope at a time it would literally take me hours so this is definitely way easier and it gets the job done there's honestly no more explaining other than that um, I am using a hot glue gun uh, that's because I have one you can use fevicol again a much cheaper alternative The next DIY, you can actually see in the backdrop right here. These are bottles. These are actually Daru ki bottles that I got from a local Kabadi wala. Then I had ek do wine ki bottle already saved. I asked my dad for a few beer bottles that he had and uh, I painted them. But obviously, I'm not going to tell you guys to just paint them randomly. But I saw this technique where you can transform your um, regular looking bottles. They don't have to be kachka bottles, by the way. They can be plastic bottles as well. You can transform them into looking like ceramic bottles you know where um, they're like a little bit uneven and you can see that it's made out of clay um, that kind of texture I'll show you how you can do that obviously I went for like a more nude vibe but I personally think you can do it in like pastels like a pastel pink a teal a lavender I think it would look so cute Aja, sabse pehle bottles ko you need to soak them in hot water for the label to come off and uh, uske baad, all you need to do is move on to painting them so here I'm just mixing a few acrylic colors of of my choice and uh, mixing them together and then the main ingredient here is baking soda so what you're going to do is you're going to put approximately one teaspoon of baking soda in your paint it's going to bubble up a little bit and mix it all together and just start painting it's just as simple as that paint obviously it's very inexpensive bottles agar aapke paas already nahi hai ghar pe, you can buy them from the raddiwala again you'll get them for like 50 rupees max and baking soda you probably have at home if you don't that's okay you can buy it again baking soda is very very inexpensive i have noticed that um, some colors do need two coats of paints so definitely decide what kind of look you're going for if you like it to be kind of transparent then that's okay but uh, i personally like the opaque look so i have two coats for every bottle ke liye. Taking a small giveaway break so this is what today's giveaway looks like all the rules are mentioned on the screen i'm also going to leave them in the description box below so definitely check it out can you tell i'm obsessed with clay so i decided to use clay once again and i made some trays out of clay now this is so easy and you can also get very very creative with this so i decided to make two different types of trays but i definitely see myself making coasters and maybe even rings with this because it's so so easy and also it's very like satisfying like sensory satisfaction because like you get to touch the clay and it's just a lot of fun so i will definitely recommend you guys to try at least this diy so for this diy I again did the same thing uh, mix the resin base and the hardener together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by making those earthworm looking things again iska thickness aap decide karo kya type ka thickness aapko chahiye so um, I took the earthworm 
clay piece and I kind of uh, molded it in like a semi-circle shape as you can see and I just continued doing the process but with each turn the semi-circles kept getting smaller in order to create kind of like a rainbow. So for this DIY I did need I think 5 packets of clay and each packet is 20 rupees so perfectly fits in our budget. So rupees ke andar mera pura uh, DIY ban gaya. I will say ye DIY ko thoda zyada time laga because it is a little bit more complex quote unquote complex so it is time consuming but I think it's worth it because by the end of it it turned out really really cute pura mera ek bar rainbow set ho gaya tha uske baad meinne ek knife leke niche se achche se usko clean kar liya thoda finished look aane ke liye and then mere paas jo leftover paint bacha tha wo use karke meinne paint kar liya isko So for tray number two, I did the same thing. I mixed the two clays together and once my like clay was ready, I took a rolling pin and achche se ek chapati almost bana li maine. It did take me a few times to understand that uh, when you're trying to dry this clay, you should put it either on a piece of uh, plastic or like saran wrap, anything that you can like kind of rip off. Do not keep it on a plate or any sort of hard surface because the clay will stick on top of it and it is almost impossible to remove it from that surface. Like I've ruined two plates of mine. So definitely uh, keep a piece of plastic underneath. And also when it's a flattening, ka kaam aata hai na, it's a good idea to sprinkle a little bit of powder uh, on the floor. Regular talcum powder works. I made these small little uh, balls um, using the clay. And what I did was I did stick them on top of our base, but that was a bad idea. So what you can do is you can keep these balls separately for them to harden separately. And then later on, you can stick them on using a uh, fairy quick or hot glue gun the reason why i say this was a mistake is because few of the balls fell off later on they did not stick to the base properly because i did not use any sort of adhesive to kind of uh, make them stay right so i would recommend doing both the steps separately and then sticking the two together so as you can already tell i'm kind of trying to make like a border around the tray and that's what I basically did and that is what I was going for. I personally use this for my rings. This too is one of my favorite DIYs. So basically this is kind of like a display for your Polaroids. Now if you don't have a Polaroid camera that's okay. Uh, but if you do have Polaroid cameras you can definitely just stick them on a piece of paper and frame them. Um, and it looks really really cool. Now if you don't have a Polaroid camera that's okay. You can make your DIY Polaroids uh, using this very easy method. So for this you're gonna need the app PixArt and you can upload any image okay it doesn't matter then you go on draw and then you click this button right here and then you I pe click karna to ye PNG image ban gaya. apply kar lo iske baad yahan pe sticker ka option hai sticker pe click karo then you search Polaroid I pick this one personally and then just aise khol ke isko apply kar do and then you add the image of your choice any image you can add and then you just adjust it to this frame Aram se time leke adjust karo. And then that's basically it. You save it and then um, just print these out. Now once your Polaroids are ready, you can literally stick them on any surface um, in your house or in your bedroom. But I wanted to kind of fill up my refrigerator with a bunch of these uh, images. So that's what I did. And the last DIY that I have is a throwback. Now, I used to get this question all the time. Tell us, have you made your DIY brick wall with flowers? So I think a month ago, I was going through my hard disk and I found footage of me actually making the DIY brick wall. So I thought, why not share it with you guys? It is a little bit over 100 rupees uh, when it comes to making the brick wall because you're going to need cardboard. Cardboard is very, very inexpensive and paint, white paint, again, very inexpensive. The fake flowers can vary like depending on where you buy them from. So I'm not going to say that it's going to take you only 100 rupees to make this brick wall, but I would say max 200 rupees may ho jana chahiye. So this is how I made it. So we're going to start off by making the fake brick wall. For this, you're going to need some cardboard and fevicol. So as the base, I'm obviously using cardboard 
cardboard as you can see and on top of that I have made these fake bricks using cardboard again I'll leave the measurements that I used in the description box below for making these bricks and I'm just placing them here as you can see uh, make sure that you don't line them exactly ek ke upar ek uh, thoda sa ek chhod ke line karna hai. I think you can tell by the way I'm laying them down so continue doing that depending on the area that you want to cover make those many number of bricks so this was the area that I was working on so I think I had to make about four of these and then I just started using double sided tape and started sticking the fake brick wall so the cardboard that I had used was kind of like a grey colour so I wanted my brick wall to be white so I just went in with sponge and my paint and I started painting the wall the brick wall white now let this dry for about an hour and then you can move on to sticking your fake flowers now this is very very straightforward all you need to do is take your fake flowers and start sticking them on the wall um, you can obviously use hot glue gun for this again you can use fevicol for this or you can go in with the paper tapes those also look really cute here I was going for like a bunch of different flowers so um, I was kind of alternating between those but you can definitely do just one type of flower and that too would look beautiful and yeah that's it for today's video I really really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video do let me know what you thought in the comments down below and of course don't forget to give this video a like if you want me to make more DIY videos subscribe to my channel follow me on my Instagram follow Simba Lifestyle follow Skion and I'll see you soon in my next video bye